I use many different Arduino variants in my electronics projects. Intel recently asked me to give the new Bluetooth LE enabled Arduino 101 a look, so here are my thoughts. By far my favorite method of controlling circuits and adding computational logic is the Arduino platform. They are simply the easiest way to create complex control projects with a minimum of effort. The 101 arrives in a simplistic packaging with the Arduino and Intel brands featured prominently. Arduino.cc has a great page devoted to the Arduino and Genuino 101 showcasing the board features as well as instructions to get anyone started. The full schematics are also linked which actually make it much easier to understand what the various pins and components on the board are doing. Here are the main specs of interest. Most notable are the changes in the PWM pins down to 4 and the memory values at 196 kilobytes of flash and 24 kilobytes of SRAM. The Quark processor is an absolute beast at 32 bit, 32 megahertz. The 101 maintains the same form factor as the 8 bit Arduino Uno layout but with slightly different pinouts and completely new components on the board. With this layout, many existing shields should be compatible and useful with the 101 depending on the pin requirements. The board itself is 3.3 volt but supposedly 5 volt tolerant on all GPIO pins. The 101 also has two great built in peripherals which include both Bluetooth low energy and a 6 axis gyro. It comes pre programmed with a real time operating system which Intel advertised would be open source this year. All GPIO pins are well labeled just as we are used to with the Uno. Getting the 101 functioning with the Arduino IDE was as simple as going into the boards manager and adding the support package for the Curie boards. Overall, I think the 101 would be a great addition to the Arduino lineup with the powerful processing it brings to the table. My personal opinion would be that the board would be better served including Wi-Fi versus the Bluetooth LE. But I will definitely be able to use the gyro and Bluetooth in an upcoming project. Remember to hit me up on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter or Instagram at MakeMeOrg. I'm Eric for the MakeMeLab, see you next video.